Even on a rainy day, Sagamahara looks peaceful. But in 2016, this small town near Tokyo was the site of Japan's biggest mass killing since World War II. Takashi and Chikiko Ono's disabled son was badly injured that day in July 2016. In the early hours of the morning, armed with a knife, the killer, Satoshi Uematsu, broke into a care home for the disabled. A former employee at the care home, Uematsu knew his way around. As he made his way through the building, he stabbed the disabled patients, murdering 19 and injuring 27 others. After the attack, he surrendered himself at a nearby police station, reportedly saying it's better that the disabled just disappear. <laughs> Months before his killing spree, Wematsu resigned from his job at the care home after delivering a letter to Japan's parliament. In it, he wrote that disabled people should be euthanized and offered to kill 470 of them. The Onos first heard about the attack through news reports. As the bodies were being taken away and the police gathered evidence from the killer's house, Chikiko rushed to the hospital to see her son, Kazuya. もう in the days after, Takashi says the families remained in the dark. Kazuya has a profound intellectual disability, epilepsy and autism. He was first institutionalised at 16. <laughs> Two years after the attack, Kazuya has physically recovered and lives at another care home. 
but his mother says he is still haunted by what happened. Once a month at a makeshift memorial, families affected by the massacre lay flowers so that those who died can reach heaven. When a total stranger arrives at the vigil, the Onos are overjoyed. The visitor says he had nothing to do with the incident, but was so affected by what happened that he travelled an hour and a half by bus to pay his respects. The Onos are only one of two families to speak publicly about the attack. The rest of the victims have never been named. A staff from the institution come to pack up the vigil. The Onos farewell a new friend. In 2020, Tokyo will be the first city in the world to host the Paralympic Games for a second time. The Japanese government hopes this event will increase awareness for the more than 7 million Japanese living with disabilities. At a training camp for the national team, I meet long jumper Hajimu Ashida. Tokyo will host the next Paralympic Games. It's your home country. Does that make you excited or a little bit more nervous? で、そういったところではこれはただ一過性で過ぎてしまうイベントなのかなっていうどっかでこう障害を持つことが健常者より劣っているっていう発想のままでとどまってしまうような。Hajimu started training in high school. At the time, a desmoid tumor was growing in his right arm, and doctors were considering amputation. あの、両性腫瘍なんですけど、えっと、一部分で転移再発を繰り返す病気ですけど、ま、何病って言われてる病気です。で、ま、100万人に1人ぐらいで放射線治療を小学校5年生で当てたので、小学校5年生で腕の
But such is the stigma, most do so anonymously. In the northern province of Hokkaido, Kikuo Kojima is the first to speak out publicly. Kikuo says his childhood was tough. He contracted polio when he was only two and grew up on a farm with a foster family. そう立てのやつも抱かれたこともないし一回もあのものすごくその一見外に遊びでればやっぱりもらい込まれることって言われてやっぱりかっこいいけばびっくだってこと足悪いからっていじめられるしもう私にはそのものすごい辛さ辛
、えっと、20分は話してもいいんですね小島さんの,あの言葉でちゃんと自分の被害の訴えと。His lawyer has evidence from doctors confirming the scars near his groin are consistent with a sterilization procedure. あの野田先生っていう精神科の先生なんですよ。で、すごく有名な先生なんだけど、野田先生は問題意識はあの小島さん精神分裂病でも何でもないのに病院に入れられて手術させられたっていうところにすごく憤ってらっしゃるんですよね。私はその強制治療されたことに対して。私の人生はものすごくもう狂ってしまって20歳の時からやっぱり本当にもうなんて人に言えないことをずっと苦しめて57年間苦しんできたっていうこと国にはやっぱり謝罪をしてほしいんです。Today, Kikuo is showing me Nakai Hospital. It's only 30 minutes from his home. I think he wants to show us the exit. The hospital has changed over the years, but the memories of his dramatic escape come flooding back. Gomi no kakari da kara, doku bon ga kou ni atta no. Soko no kangi agete mo atta jite, koko kara koko kangi ojo ga atte, flipper de kou ni gete, so jite soko itte, soko no bus no atte, ni geta no. Atama ga ii ka, ni geta. Mr. Kajima, you used to work as a taxi driver. How hard was it to drop off patients here? それでもお客さんをして一人で泣いてましたやっぱりいや,いや手すこいでも見たくもないですよ本当にね見たくもないですこれでももうあの何ていうのかなもう心がもう嫌だしね恐怖心も感じ思い出す時恐怖心も感じる今までこう見るのも嫌だったから本当にこれでこう思い出してさ、本当に憎たら死んだがさ、で、The hospital declined to comment on Kikuo Kojima's case. The government says the lives of the disabled are getting better. Sterilization stopped in 1996. And employment quotas and anti discrimination laws have been introduced. But this year, a scandal revealed they lied about the number of disabled people working in their own ministries. Only half the number they claimed were employed. Japanese company culture is, you know, not good for people with disabilities. Shuhei Onishi has struggled to get a job. Despite being a recent graduate of an American community college, he has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a progressive genetic disorder that requires constant care. Despite his severe disability, Shuhei believes he has a lot to offer the workplace. Yeah, I can speak English. I think I have a skill with the computer, but、uh, they don't accept because.、Yeah. I cannot do anything by myself. If people with disabilities don't have a job, yeah, they feel lonely. Being wheelchair bound and reliant on a respirator hasn't stopped Shuhei from travelling the world. And with no one willing to employ him, he's started his own business, advising other people with disabilities how to study abroad. Konnichiwa. はじめましてお西です。アメリカに例えば留学したいなと思った時、うん、やっぱり介助者とか使えるのかなっていうのは、あアメリカってもまあ広いので、うん、まあどこっていうのもどこに留学するとかっていうのも、my life was boring. 
actually. So I wanted to do something. Yeah, even now, uh, I want I want to do something much more, like more, uh, you know, like big things. But Shuhei feels as though Japan holds him back. He gets a carer for 17 hours a day, but the rest of his time must be spent in this welfare centre. And while the staff here do their best to care for people with a wide range of disabilities, Shuhei would rather be part of the wider world. Yeah, this is a very good uh, centre for people with disabilities, but, you know, actually, like, uh, I don't want to come here. I just want to work or anything to do anything, yeah. If you could be out of your chair and out of your respirator for one day, what would you do? Actually, like, I, f I have been thinking about this question, but, you know, kind of that nonsense for me, because, you know, I never imagine, like, I don't want to imagine, because, you know, this is me, you know, respirator, and then uh, uh, wheelchair, that's me, yeah. I'm okay, I'm fine to live. And then I, I just enjoy my life, yeah. It's Wednesday, and on the other side of town, the Onos are visiting their son Kazuya in his care home. It's perfect weather for a picnic. They head to Kazuya's ward. For two hours, the couple and his carer dote on Kazuya, and he basks in their love. あの、僕らとは違って、それでじゃあ月火水木金土って言ってたらできないんです。その辺がね、不思議なんですよね。で、この人は僕がいつ来るのって聞くと水曜日っていう風に言ってくれるんですよ。一番あの、僕なんかは